Professor Cohen, thank you very much for coming to Geneva to give the inaugural lecture of our new Center for International Environmental Studies at the Graduate Institute. The topic of your talk would be the regime complex for climate change. I wanted to start this conversation by asking you of your view of the outcome of the latest uh, series of negotiations in Copenhagen uh, with respect to managing the issue of climate change. Well, I think it was in general a failure if one thought that we were going to have a coherent, integrated regime for climate change, which was the ambition at Kyoto, at, at Kyoto and up, up through Copenhagen. So we're confronted with a situation of how to adapt to a new situation in which we don't have a, an integrated regime, we have a regime complex that is a variety of different arrangements, some intergovernmental and some involving non-governmental actors, designed to help the climate problem, but not adding up to a coherent integrated regime, very much unlike the world trade regime based at the WTO around the corner. And what are the reasons uh, for the failure of states uh, to agree on an integrated, or some would say coherent regime for climate change? I think the most fundamental reason is distributive politics. There are differences of interest uh, among countries and especially between developed and developing countries. In 1995, the developed countries gave, in a sense, the developing countries an entitlement not to have the same obligations or even any uh, firm obligations on, on climate change. And the developing countries, of course, want to maintain this entitlement uh, and want to shift the burden of adjustment onto the rich countries. Uh, on the other hand, without uh, participation actively by developing countries, the problem can't be solved. So there's a conflict fundamentally between the developed and developing countries, uh, aggravated by the agreement made in Bonn in 1995 uh, to give the developing countries a blank, a, a, a loophole. It, this contrasted with the ozone regime of, of 15 years earlier in which the developing countries were given a delayed schedule, but eventually are to come under the same set of rules that everybody has to follow. How would the regime complex that you um, would be describing tonight resolve some of these distributional uh, issues that have blocked uh, effective collaboration so far? I don't think it'll resolve them. They're pretty fundamental. And I don't think that it's necessarily going to be a better situation. It would be better to have an integrated comprehensive regime. But a regime complex, a variety of different arrangements, has two big advantages over a coherent regime. It's more flexible and it's more adaptable. It's more flexible because smaller clubs of states can cooperate, and even if you can't get a general agreement, you may get progress from different alignments of clubs of states. And it's more adaptable because without a monopoly, without a single set of rules, uh, it's, more, it's easier to change policy and adjust to new situations. The Kyoto system, the, uh, especially the clean development mechanism system for involving the developing countries, has been quite rigid and not very successful. So adaptability and flexibility are the uh, advantages of a regime complex. And where is the regime uh, complex for climate change heading to? What can we expect from the upcoming meeting in Cancun and subsequent rounds of negotiations? Well, what I think is going to happen, and of course we're always speculating here about the future, uh, is that the, that the UN frame, Framework Commission on Climate Change, the framework structure, uh, will remain uh, as part of the structure. Uh, the UNFCCC will be part of, the, part of the solution, but it won't be as dominant as it might have been expected to be. And it'll, it'll be the umbrella for a variety of different initiatives. So, for example, there's some progress being made on forestry, uh, offset arrangements for forestry by which states get rewarded for not degrading their forests. And I think we're going to find some particular agreements. There may, there may be some agreements among the major emitters uh, involving the U.S. and China and others that actually uh, help the problem. So in the, in the absence of a comprehensive agreement, uh, which almost any state can veto or any small set of states can veto, I think we're going to see a variety of partial agreements. And they're not going to be as spectacular and it's not clear there'll be enough. It's a very serious problem and I'm not at all saying that, that the regime complex will solve them. But at the moment, this is the direction that things are going, and the best we can do is, in, in my view, not to try to resurrect a comprehensive regime which will, I think, not be agreed uh, at Cancun or elsewhere, uh, but to develop a variety of promising initiatives as part of this regime complex for climate change. And maybe a final question. Some might say that this concept of a regime complex for climate change 
might be sim simply a polite way of saying that cooperation has failed. How would you comment on such interpretation of uh, the notion of a regime complex, more flexible, uh, more versatile regime complex for climate change? There are various levels of cooperation. The most ambitious attempts for cooperation have failed. Uh, the attempt to have a comprehensive regime which would involve both the rich and the, po and the, and the poorer countries, the development and developing countries, uh, in an integrated system that would last for decades has failed. Uh, cooperation though takes place in a variety of ways. Uh, there, there's greater or lesser cooperation. So the fact that the most ambitious scheme for cooperation has failed does not mean that we should despair about any cooperation. This means we have to unfortunately lower our sights somewhat, uh, at least for the time being. It may be that the severity of the problem becomes so obvious to everyone after a while that we can step up again and have a more serious, uh, comprehensive regime. But for the moment, it's better than sitting around and wringing our hands in despair to actually work on components of the, of the problem of, of this regime complex. Thank you very much for your commentary and again for coming to support our new Center on International Environmental Studies and I really hope that there would be opportunities for collaboration in really understanding in what ways the elements of this uh, regime complex for climate change can really make some good headways in governing and addressing issues at various levels. Thank you.